Hi. A lot of you are asking, what is a lame duck Congress? And in light of Justice Ginsburg's death, it's highly relevant. I'll explain. First, I'm Jessica. I do the news without noise. Please follow this account and support this work on patreon.com if you can. Thanks to those of you who already do. The lame duck session, also called a lame duck Congress, is the period of time after the election, but before the newly elected members of Congress are sworn in. Let's say a senator loses re-election. Well, the day after the election, she's still a sitting senator. She can still vote on issues before the Senate, like confirming a new justice. And that holds true until the next Senate is sworn in, which happens in January. Now, those senators who weren't re-elected are seen as having very little power, so they're referred to as lame ducks. And that's why the period of time this year from November 4th till the next Congress is sworn in in January, that's called the lame duck session. Now, usually matters of grave importance aren't decided then because you want the newly elected members to vote on the major issues. But this year, Senate Majority Leader McConnell could use that time to rush confirm a new Supreme Court justice. Why? Because if he forces a vote before the election, that puts Republican senators in tight elections in a terrible position. Their vote on confirmation could cost them re-election, and that could mean that Republicans and McConnell lose control of the Senate. But if McConnell holds the vote until after the election, in the lame duck session, that protects vulnerable senators from taking an unpopular vote before November 3rd. It would also let President Trump make the future of the court a major issue in his campaign. And that could possibly shift the focus off coronavirus, which is a losing issue for him. Now there are downsides for McConnell to holding a vote in the lame duck session. Part of it is math, check this out. Right now, Democrats need four Republican votes to block confirmation. That's hard. If McConnell holds the vote in the lame duck session, there's a good chance Arizona's Mark Kelly will win his Senate race. He's running in something called a special election, and I won't get into the details, but if he wins, he'll take office during the lame duck session. He's a Democrat, he'd replace a Republican, so that means Democrats would need only three instead of four Republican votes to block a Supreme Court nominee. So you see the math could get harder for McConnell after November 3rd. Now, the other downside for McConnell is, if a justice is confirmed in the lame duck session, the American public could question the legitimacy of the new justice and of future court rulings. And who knows what Democrats could try to do to stop this. Some are already signaling it would mean political war, constitutional battles, etc. In truth, McConnell could lose control of the Senate over this issue. But putting an enduring conservative majority on the court has been McConnell's animating goal for his political career. So the political risk might be worth it to him. Now, deciding whether to hold the vote before the election or during the lame duck session, that's a tricky political question but McConnell is a master of challenging politics. Let me know what other questions you have. I'll see you soon.